Well, you would read you would read the newspapers in an entirely different way. You can read between the lines. You can see a meaning in what's being said. You can see what is absurd and illogical. You can connect the past to the present, the present to the future, and you can connect what's being written there with other things quite different that are occurring somewhere else. You begin to get that ability. And you can get that probably from much less than what I was speaking of as a true extensive fundamental education in system dynamics. System dynamics is like, like medicine, I would say. A first aid course is useful, and you can do it in two or three or four hours. And I suppose I might have to admit that some of the systems thinking two, three hour seminars probably have an effect on people. But they certainly don't take you to the point of understanding systems, but you may be better off than you were before because there is so much to be learned and so much insight to be acquired that even little bits leave people thinking they've accomplished a lot. System dynamics, I think, ought to be taught as a cultural course, or at least there ought to be a thread. It basically is a cultural course in which you have models like urban dynamics, world dynamics, and a whole array of others that ought to be created. And you use them in the classroom. You don't necessarily expect the student to be able to make them. You don't necessarily expect the student to have an absolutely fundamental understanding of those models. But you tie the models into the headlines, into the literature, into history, and you create this ability to think in terms of dynamic dynamics. And I think maybe one or two academic terms of that kind of a course could be culturally very important.